In this video, we're going over how to get all the latest Azure icons for free. Hello everyone, I'm Travis and welcome to my channel. This is going to be a quick but hopefully useful video for anyone who creates Azure diagrams. Before that, please like and subscribe and share with a friend. That helps this channel grow. Check out my courses on AVD Windows 365 and hybrid identities with Windows AD and Azure AD at Udemy.com. The links are below. And thank you channel members, your support is appreciated. Back to it, let's say you're creating a diagram of an Azure service and need some icons. You Google Azure icons and you may find this page. I'll leave a link below. You can download these and then extract them. They're fairly complete and organized okay, but I've had some problems with this approach. They're not always organized the best. We have some well-named folders, but others have names like new icons and other. File Explorer doesn't show previews of SVG files by default, that's annoying. And sometimes this just doesn't have what I'm looking for, especially with new services. Here's how I get the icons for all the content on this channel, training videos and presentations. I use Amazing Icon Downloader by Matt Legrander. This browser extension is available for Edge and Chrome. I had to enable the Chrome store on my Edge browser in the past, but it looks like it's now available in the Edge store. I'll add more information below. Be sure to let Matt know if you find this tool helpful. With this add-on, we can download SVG icons directly from the Azure portal. Let's jump into the portal and take a look. We'll go to a VM. And once we have it added, we can go to the Amazing Icon Downloader extension. We can search for and download icons displayed on the page. That includes all the menu items. A quick note about the search. Sometimes the names are not intuitive. Here, this one has a FX symbol name. But this is a far easier way to access Azure icons and even the new services are available. We just hit download and it's available in our download folder. From here, we can add it to our presentation and resize it as needed. Okay, so the only problem with this is not every application supports the SVG image format. If you have access to Photoshop, you can open the SVG and export it as a PNG or a JPEG, but not everyone has Photoshop. The other option is to turn to Google. There are quite a few SVG to PNG or JPEG online converters. I'll use the one at easygif.com. The link is below. By the way, don't leave me messages that I pronounce GIF wrong. I'll start saying GIF when we all start calling GitHub, GitHub. Anyway, under Optimize, we have the options for SVG to PNG or SVG to JPEG. Select one. We can upload or add a link. Let's upload the file we just downloaded. Let's convert it to a PNG. We have a few options available. Let's save, that downloads the image. Now let's add the image to our PowerPoint presentation. We'll make it bigger. And there's nothing wrong with your monitor, that looks horrible. I did this on purpose, let's delete this. One thing I do like about this site is we can specify a size. It keeps the original small icon size by default. Let's set it to 200. And convert. And save. Now we'll add the new PNG to the PowerPoint presentation. And we can resize it. The image has more information now and looks better when we make it bigger. That's it for this video. I hope this helps you create some awesome Azure diagrams. Don't forget to like and subscribe and thanks for watching.